firm, are you currently um, planning your first self storage, or are you operating at the moment? Well, what, what it is, I had, I had a quick meeting with uh, Dean uh, the other day. Uh, what it is, it's on behalf of one of our clients, who's my mate, and uh, he's got. Uh, I was telling Dean, he's got a, a self storage business. He's bought a massive plot of land. Uh, he's only got around about. Uh, I think it's around about 30, 20 foot containers at the moment, and okay. uh, like 10, 8 foot or something. But he's hoping by the end of the year to get up to about 100. Right, okay, brilliant. Okay. He is, he's all he's waiting, he's waiting for our dunk stand, he's waiting for some planning permission, okay, uh, and then he's going to buy in the other containers. But he just, uh, at the moment, he's got a bloke there, just he's paying him just to sit in an office, literally doing nothing at all. So, so maybe the fact yeah. that maybe pay yeah. a bit of money for software yearly than yeah. to have someone there um he was going to join us today but i was explained to dean that he's uh, still in italy at the moment so uh i don't know if you can record the meeting or something so i can just play it back to him yeah i can certainly i can certainly do that yes that's not a problem um and i can send well, you the he's very keen. he will he, he just wants me to understand it he's not very technical or anything i don't know Dean said it's not that hard to you, but he just wants me to, well, I'll take care of his website. He just wants me to, uh, you know, take care of all of it. And uh, it's a little bit of extra work. It's not really my sort of thing answering messages, but obviously with this automation, we don't really need to, do we? No, of course. So would he be planning, if if the member of staff disappears and he uses Stora, would he be planning to implement like a smart entry solution for an electronic gate to the container site? Uh, it, it's a possibility at the moment. I think at the moment, obviously, they just go into the office, uh, a couple of people phone out or whatever, they just go into the office, collect the keys. Uh, what I was speaking to Dean about is either going to be, depending on how much it is, it'll either be a, a smart entry system or uh, that people, I think they can get into, I'm not sure if they can get into the gates or something, but what we would do, we'd put uh, uh, like a key lock on the gate and give them. You know, you know, give him a, a, a the number of the on the storage bit, but he, he's not sure yet. So off, uh, when he comes back from Italy, which I believe is, uh, I think at the end of the week, I can discuss uh, more with him. Do you supply yeah. the smart entry system then, or not? Or so we don't supply the smart entry system, but we do integrate with seven smart entry providers. So at the end of the call today, I can send you an email across with a login for a demo account to log into and have yep. a play about with. I'll also send you a list of all the smart entry providers that we integrate with and you could reach out to them. Yep. If you're just, you know, what a lot of operators do with container sites is they will leave the unoccupied containers unlocked, hang a padlock and key inside the container if you supply those. Yeah. Um, and then just the units will be allocated during the booking to the customer. They use the smart entry six digit code to open the gate. They come in, they, they open their unlocked unit, put their stuff in, take their padlock and key, lock it and leave. So that's how you can run an unmanned facility for as minimal cost as possible. Um, so what I'll do is I'll share my screen and talk you through the customer journey now. What's what's the name of his? And it's called any storage. So E E N I storage. E E N I storage. No yeah, problem. Just got, really creating the demo account as well. No worries. Does he have a website? Yep, yeah, uh, I've done that for him. Uh, I I said to Dean, to Dean as well that uh, after I think it was after I booked the the call, uh, I asked the online bot or whatever. I don't know if it was someone else on the other end. Uh, if it can actually integrate, integrate with, within the, our website, it can. Than, yeah, oh, that's good. So it's doing quite well on the SEO and everything at the moment. Uh, oh, that's perfect. You can keep your own website, and we can simply add the customer booking portal to your current website. So we'll show you how that can look with one of our existing customers, and then I'll talk you through how Stora can work for for your friends. So. Um, this is an example of one of our own customers that use Stora. So this is Britannia's own website. But as soon as the customer selects book now, they're in Stora. So this is how our booking portal can look. And you can see it will mirror the colors and imagery and, and the fonts and everything that comes with um, their own website. So that's how that can look. And if I just go across to Stora here, this is our homepage. Um, so if I were to click this online store, it will take me to 
this is a full website, but in your case, it would be, you know, like the booking portal is attached to your own website. So if you are utilizing Smart Entry, what you can do is you can provide the location with an image of the site, the address and Google Map directions, any contact information, and the customer can then see the prices. So they'll have a grid view here of the different storage sizes. So if you do offer multiple storage sizes or if they're all just 20 foot, they're, you know, they could just be the 20 foot container here. Yep. You can create these unique banners to draw the attention to the to the units you want them to book. And we also have a built-in CRM which provides registration for um, interest when you're sold out. Now, if I just sign out a minute just to show you a new booking. So if I went in here to book this unit, So the customer submits their name, email, and phone number. They can see on the right-hand side exactly what it is they are purchasing and what the price would be if you are offering discount after the discounted period. Yep. If you utilize a security deposit, maybe for the supply of a padlock and key during their stay, you can have that in place as well for the customer to be paying a month up front plus the security deposit for the padlock and key. Yep. These options, these are optional. So the customer doesn't, you don't need to have these turned on, but if you do want to, you can say, you know, we're a home mover, um, refurbishing a property and they find you on Google. So you can gain a bit of marketing insights. Yep. You can also add the likes of your Google tags and stuff like that. If you're paying for Google Analytics to the configuration page in Stora. Now, if he takes a personal address for a booking that can be submitted here. And then this is the move-in day. So if you are offering same day move-ins for customers, that can be set up on your site. It can be set up whatever way you want it to be. So if you want them to be able to book today, but they can't move in for a couple of days or they can't move in at the weekend, um, you can set that up to suit the business needs. Yep. Do you know if he resells contents insurance at all? Um, no, don't, I don't know. I don't think he does. Okay, well, if he did, no, that's grand. If he did, this option is available or this feature can be switched off and um, yeah. it doesn't need to be in place. And then this is your payment method. So the customer can set up recurring card payments or direct debits. If you want to definitely ensure that you receive a security deposit along with a month up front, you'll want to switch the direct debit option off for customer bookings online simply because if they select direct debit, you won't yeah. get a security deposit because it has to be against a bank card. Yep. So you can create your own customizable note here. This this box in this area is customizable to what you want to say to the customer. And then they can agree to your terms, privacy and insurance policy, which can all be uploaded here that they are agreeing that they viewed. And then they confirm their booking. So that's how they can book online. Right. So we use Stripe as our payment processor. So this will transfer the customer to the Stripe payment page where they will submit their card information and you know personal information to complete their booking so it details once more exactly what they're subscribing to they're getting 50 percent off their first month it'll be 60 pound a month after that yeah. and once they subscribe it will save their payment details for all their future payments and invoicing yeah. so you'll not have to chase them for their payment again and then what happens then is that's the booking complete you've received a month up front in your security deposit from the customer but we will then ask them to create a password and log into their online portal, which involves some check-in processes. So these features are, you can use these features if you want, um, but what this allows the customer to do then is complete a full biometric ID check. So if they want to, and you want to use this feature, they would scan the QR code with their phone or if they're already on their mobile device, it simply looks like this. And they yep. take a photograph of a driver's license or passport and then a photograph of their face and it confirms the two and confirms their identity. Yep. So that feature can be utilized. And then we also have integrated contracts. So what this does then is it provides, you provide us with your contract. Um, we upload it here into Stora and it will pre-populate the customer's name and details and they can read all your contract information here, electronically sign, and once that's completed, it'll allow them to immediately download their contract. Yep. So that's the two sort of admin duties the customer needs to complete that can be done online. 
and then this is their subscription. So they know they've booked your site for a 20 foot container. They can move in today. They know their access pin code if you're utilizing one of these smart entry providers for even your front gate, which I can send you at the end of the call. Yep. And then this is the unit allocation. So the system can also automatically allocate the next available unit and the size the customer is booked. So that feature is available if you wish to use it with our pro plan. Yep. And just to finish with the customer portal, under payment details here, they can come in at any time. They can view their subscription and what they're paying for. They can add an additional payment method to the system and view and download all their, their invoices. Yep. So that's how you can automate the full process of the customer booking journey. And with the smart entry solution, they can come and go as they please without you having to have staff on site. Yeah. Okay. So, so how does the, sorry, how does the smart entry system work then? Uh, how do they look get given the pin code? Do we have to email them separately or something like that? Or no, so you can see there, um, so say for example, you were using Paxton and yeah. you just had you just had a like a key code on the front gate to the facility. It'll we integrate with that company. So what would happen would be it'll produce the customer's own unique six digit code to type into the keypad. And then you'll know who's coming and going because of their unique pin. Yeah, that's good. So that's how that can work. And then within Stora itself here, this is our home screen. So you're able to see our unique actions tab here, which details anything that needs addressed with the business. So if you've move-ins to allocate or any open deals or prospects to review in CRM or anything to do with contracts or ID, you can simply view them by clicking on the button and it'll take you to exactly what it needs you to address. So from this home screen you can see the facility map here and this is where you can keep on top of what's happening out in one glance essentially so the green would indicate all your customers who have moved in they're paying they're doing nothing wrong yeah. and you've got in gray here your available units so these are the customers that have the, these are the units that are available for customers to book online this blue would indicate move outs. So customers that have notified you that they wish to move out and you know this unit will be available again for bookings in four days time. And then you've got your problem customers here in red. So the benefit of integrating with one of the smart entry providers that we work with is that if a customer's payment were to fail after they've originally booked, you know, when they've made that first payment, yeah. if in month two, the payment's due on the 12th and it fails, the customer will receive a series of automated emails from Stora. So they'll receive this email, for example, to say that the payment has failed. They have a grace period of say maybe three days for the payment to be made or else they won't have access to their unit any longer. So then what happens is you set up your grace period with Stripe and Stora. If Stephen's payment is reattempted three times after it initially fails and we're still mm -hmm. unable to get funds, it will automatically overlock him and send him another automated email to tell him that his access has been revoked. Yep. So if you're using a smart entry provider, then it will actually speak between Stora and that smart entry provider. They'll speak to each other and it will block the code to the facility. So he won't be able to open the gate until he makes a payment. Yep. And in the same turn, if he decides then that he wants to make a payment and it's successful, he'll automatically receive this email from Stora to say that his payment has been successful. He'll change from red to green on the facility map and the smart entry solution will give him access to his code once more. Yep. So all of that is automated. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, yeah, so it's, this is how you can run an unmanned facility with Stora, but you do need the integration at least at your front gate, you know, and, and a different approach to access for it all to completely run streamline without yeah, someone. Yeah, he definitely needs that. The only problem he's got, what it is, is on a bit of, so it's an older rugby land. I think the rugby team or the football team have uh, like hired the hall out. So we just have to give, can we, I know it's not your system, but on the smart entry systems, can we have like a, an admin code that we can just give everyone because they have to go past the storage containers see to get to like the fields yeah, yeah. well if, if you decide to implement a smart entry solution on the front gate to this area this facility this yard or whatever it may be and um, that's something that you can you can do with the smart entry provider you know yeah 
we just integrate with it for these bookings. So if you need to provide a code for someone else outside of Stora with this with this entry system, then that's fine. Yes, you could just ask them to do that. Okay, we can block them manually, can't we, if we wanted to? Yeah. Right. So, you, so, yeah. yeah. so within the Smart Entry um, app, like, so if you say it's Paxton, I'm just using it as an example again, but if you had the Paxton app, you can block anyone's access at any time and see them within Stora. So if I were just to say, go into this unit, I can just simply go over lock and that blocks their access code immediately. Yeah. Yeah, that, because what he was going to do, because he didn't know about the smart entry system, what, and this helps him out a lot, and what he was going to do is keep the front gate open and and, and just give him a, a pin code. But uh, he's got he's got security cameras and everything around there, but it's just this last bit that he wants to do. And he was going to get me, uh, either me or someone else, to drop the key up each time just because I live up the road, but I didn't want to do that. <laughs> so do you know a rough price? And is there any particular supplier that you do recommend? To be honest, I can't really recommend one simply because we integrate with them, but I don't know all their costings. But I can I can sort of as guidance tell you that around around about 90% of operators using container sites that have came and signed up with me recently have been coming through with Paxton too, because I do believe they're very competitively priced and they do offer like a simplistic keypad you know that the, the yeah. customer just gets the six digit code they type it in and the gate opens if it's electronic so you, you have to make sure the gate's electronic yeah um so yes that's that's how that can all be integrated and then within the subscription itself um you have the unit that's been occupied and the pricing which can be very simply changed at any time just by clicking here you can go in um, you can add a custom price at any time. Sorry, my internet's been really slow today. It's just taken a wee minute here. Yeah, because so I think what it does some, sometimes now again, if you book, uh, if you book, I don't know if you can have this option. Nice. If you book a year up front, I think the minimum is a month, okay? But if you book a year up yeah. front, you get two months off free or something like that. Can you, how, how yeah, would you do so, that? Yeah, so those, those could be addressed by um, setting up like specific subscriptions for those customers so if they sign up for a month and then decide that they want to stay for a year you can either change their payment frequency or you can just simply go in and change like make a custom price so um there's lots of different yeah. ways you can approach yeah. it. um so it's it's available to it within our our product okay. um, but in regards to the book and then, so you can see here, the system knows that I signed the contract today and you can view and download the contract here at any time. If you're using a security deposit feature, you can simply settle the deposit by refunding, withholding or partially refunding this to the customer and sending them a settlement by email. Under the customer data themselves, if they had multiple units, you'd be able to see them all here within Stora. And you can see all their invoices and all the information about them along with their verified id check if that is completed yeah. now if you did have someone on site you can simply skip the id check if they haven't completed it online and just say id seen on site if i could type that would be <laughs> yeah. and, you know it named you know, it everything always goes wrong or the mistakes happen when you're actually doing a presentation or something don't you <laughs> it, it, it always happens to me i can't find something or something goes wrong <laughs> No, no. So, but so that's really that's really the subscriptions, the customer bookings, how it's all managed with the recurring payments and the overlock facility to chase field payments, and then within our CRM piece here, this is our built-in lead management tool essentially. So, any customers or any prospects that appear on your website, whether they become customers themselves by booking online, yeah. or whether they are a lead because they've submitted their interest they will all appear here in prospects. So you'll be able to see here in complete bookings, um, price reveals, quotes, you know, and you can follow up with these customers and create your own customized deals pipeline. Yeah. So you can add pages, you know, if you want to have a process where they get so many calls and emails for quotes. And what that does then, oh, sorry, wrong button. <laughs> um, what that does then is it creates a, a, a deal and you can go into this deal at any time. You can add notes. 
You can add tasks for it to be followed up or chased either by yourself or another team member. And once the customer decides they want to move in, you just simply mark them as one and it will provide you with a breakdown of what happened with this deal and when they decided to become a customer. And that's when you can create the subscription. So this is the way you can take a personal approach for all customer bookings. You can simply pre-populate all their details into this form for them. If it was maybe a phone call or someone who's just not tech savvy enough to do it themselves online. So this is essentially just the booking form we completed today, but for you to do for them in the back office. To take it a step further, we do also have a booking form link. So if you pre-populate the customer's details here, you can update this link preview. And when the customer is emailed this link, you just simply click, they simply click on it and it will pre-populate all this detail for them. And all they have to do is agree and book. Okay. So there's a few different ways the bookings can be approached and the automation is there to run an unmanned facility with smart entry providers and with the way Stora operates. Yep. So really other than the analytics tab, it's just the last thing to show you for today. So you can look at the site to get some high level insights on what's happening with your facility and your revenue. So you can see what your occupancy has been like over the last three months. You can see your recognized revenue, if you're reselling insurance, what you're making on it versus the actual storage income, and then your market and source to so where all your customers have been coming from over the last few months. Um, so there's there's a lot to the product that keeps, and it's a cloud-based system, so you can log on like anywhere in the world. You know, if your friend was away on holiday right now, he could actually log in to see what was happening with his facility if necessary. So that's pretty much a like a like a demonstration of how how Stora works. Um, obviously, we've record this call is recorded, so I can create a link. Um, for the recording and send it across to you. If you could. Show to him. Um, what, the way we price as well, so we price up to 50 units. So whether you have two units or 50 yeah. units, it's like the same initial price. Um, so I can send you over quotes for the standard and the pro plan for like annual and monthly costings and what that would involve. Yeah. And the reason I'll send that across is I'll also add a link to my diary and create a demo account for you to log into. And if yeah. you want to, you know, take send the recording to your friend, have a discussion with them, look at the price and then log into the demo account, you can then come back to me if you think you would like to move forward. Yeah, I, I think he, he, he definitely he definitely will. There's only one other thing, okay? Uh, so obviously every everybody's like uh, lad is different, the containers. Do we show you a plan and then you upload it to you? So you'll create you'll you'll create your facility map. There's you'll basically an onboarding fee for joining, which would be two nine five plus fat in your case, yeah. and that will involve um all the customer onboarding calls that you will have with your onboarding manager. We have a full help center, which is a document help center that shows you step by step how to set everything up. Um, so basically, if you have a plan of what the site looks like during your onboarding, we can assist you. To, to lot to for you to understand how to create your map and your subscriptions and what comes along with putting the account together. Yep. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. I'll get back. I'll get what I'll do. I'll like I say, I'll just be speaking to him tomorrow or Friday. Uh, I, he's ninety percent going to go for it because uh, you know the amount he pays that bloke just to sit there. You, you know this this covers it easily. And it was almost like the cost of Stora and a smart entry solution on a gate could probably be a lot cheaper over a year than what he's paying um, a, a member of staff. So I could see how that could help with his expansion plans as well. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, uh, so let's like say he's, he's got about for, about thirty containers, I think, at the moment. Okay. Uh, uh, so he hasn't got loads and loads. It's about thirty or forty, but he's hoping to get up to a hundred uh, okay. by the end of the year. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll pass this all over to him. If you can send us uh, links to or uh, through those smart systems as well. Yes, I will. Yeah. How much it's going to cost him? Roughly. Okay. No problem. Cool. That's perfect. I'll send that all across to you soon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then. Cheers, Laura. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Look. All Thanks the best. Bye. Bye.